Hello beautiful, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's new makeup releases. We are gonna chat about a new makeup that's been released now as a sneak peek. I'm gonna let you know what I think about it and then you let me know what you think about it down in the comments. <laughs> I'm very excited because the beginning part of this video is sponsored by Royal Match. If you have been on my channel before, you know how much I love a good mobile game. It's just the best form of escapism, relaxation for me. One of my like bedtime routines is me being in bed by myself for like 30, 40 minutes playing a mobile game before I like before I fall asleep. I know some people want to read a book. I want to play a mobile game by myself in the dark. I absolutely love it. It's my little self-care routine. I put on some perfume, I play a mobile game, and I just enjoy my time before going to bed. And now since I've discovered Royal Match, this is my new companion. It's such a cute game, and it has some of the things that I really love with puzzle games, and it does it really well. It has the puzzle game, which is like this just match three. Look at that. Look at that, it's so cute. I've got some bonuses. And different kind of combinations gets different kind of bonuses. I love games like that. But it also has this very cute element of you building your castle. So let me finish this one up. Look at me, look at me. I'm all about games like this. It's so cute. Boom. So as you can tell, I'm already at 121 and I actually have some saved up so that we can build some uh, in this castle. Look at this. I'm building the bedroom, putting the bed down and let's do the canopy as well. I'm all about these games that have like different things. And one of the things that I really love about this game is that it's completely ad free. I don't want ads to be interrupting my self care time. There's no ads ever. And they also have a bunch of these cute little things that are going on, like different kinds of quests like this one. I'm like digging for digging for treasure and I have like pickaxes and I'm like, I'm, I'm looking for the crystals. Where are they? <gasps> There's one here. There's one here. I got it. Look, and it's getting in. Did I open the door? <gasps> Opening the hidden temple. Listen, I love games. I love complicated games. I love simple games. I love all kinds of games. And this one is so cute. And one of the things that you probably discovering as seeing this, this flows so smoothly. Oh, I'm getting some collectibles. Hold. Congratulations, you completed all the gates. Besties, I am all about this. If you are looking for a fun, cute game to play as well, I definitely recommend this. It is quirky, it's fun, it's colorful, it flows smoothly, no ads. And this game is completely free to play. You can download it using the link down in the description box or in the pinned comment. And I'm just so excited to find another favorite game to play. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I am so excited I found this game. And if you love mobile games, I highly recommend you checking this one out as well using the link down below. I did film this look right here and I actually did use something that have not been like revealed yet by the brand but as soon as it's being revealed I will show you this makeup look as like a short as a Instagram tutorial wherever I can fit it wherever I can upload it so just know that it is coming in a little bit they just haven't announced the, the, the thing imaging yet. So let me scoochy scoochy and let's start with the thing that I bought. The shame bell. Shame. Shame. <laughs> this just got announced and I am apparently on a click lipstick thing. I'm on the journey already. I don't know what's going on, but these were released by Tarte and the I what is this the 10th different one that I don't know. This one is <clears throat> joining the Maracuja Juicy family. Say hello to our new formula with three finishes. This is the Juicy Lip Vinyl. These are supposed to be even shinier, like a glass surface of those like click sticks. And I thought they were already pretty shiny, but I guess they were a little bit more, not that glass finish. So I'm excited to see it, but I also am at the, did we really need another one of these finishes? Maybe, but they do have sheer, opaque and shimmer ones and I got one of the sheer ones they only had sheer pink ones so it was like do you want a sheer pink a sheer pink or a sheer pink so I got a sheer pink and then I bought one of the opaque ones I don't love a glittery lip I think you know this even when it comes to lip glosses I tend to stay away from shimmer some of them I like most of them I don't but I did get one of the opaque ones and I did get the one that's cacao because I was like listen we are trying the opaque glossy brown is it gonna be a smeary mess am i gonna end up with it on my cheeks in my hair on my man on my cereal on my pets like is it gonna be everywhere my initial reaction is probably <laughs> 
probably it will be everywhere but i'm still excited though i'm excited to try it out i bought two of them like i said I'll try it out again. I'll do like a shorter reel or something. I always come back and give you some reviews further on as well. But I will say, even though I don't need another product like this, I'm still the first one in line being like, take my debit card. Let's also mention this one because I have this one here. And these are the new cream. It's like a blush and lip color. And these are from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. And this is actually what I have on my cheeks today. I have this one that is in lavish. That's what I have on my cheek. This is not sticky and this is no highlighter, just the blush and the blush does not have any shimmer. Very, very, very impressed with this formula. This is not a shimmery formula and it gives this glow without being sticky. I gotta say, they nailed it with this one. So I've only used this shade so far, but there are a couple of more shades that are really interesting, especially this one. Look at this, it's like a really nice peach. And they have one that's a, a little bit more of a brighter, like a poppy red. Like, look at this. Not like it red, but like a coral. I am very impressed with these blushes. And they are being released. Oh, I don't remember the date, but she told me. I will put everything in the description box down below. They are being released soon. And I gotta say, very impressed. Very, very impressed. They're a little bit more pigmented than you think, but then they sheer out nicely and they give this like just nice glossy glow. Very impressed. Ooh, we need to talk about Natasha Denona, right? This is the Natasha Denona. I've actually, again, Natasha Denona has this problem. She's at so many retailers and somebody always leaks her product. There's always this one retailer that just puts up her picture too early. It happens with all of our releases. So I had actually seen this from before. This is the Hyper Natural Face Palette. And this is one of those like eye and cheek palettes that she's had before, but she's giving it a new spin with this one. And it is a blush duo and a bronzer contour trio. First, when I saw this one, I'm like, contour on who? But then I did see some swatches and I think I'm putting that collage up here where they were showing the um, a colors on a darker skin tone as well. And on there, it does look like it could build. I don't know, honestly. I would love to see someone with a darker skin tone review this because Natasha Nona is a makeup artist. She understands how things like perform on the skin. She is working with all kinds of different models. So yeah, I'm excited to see what this is gonna end up being. And I did buy this myself from the Natasha Nona website, not because I'm like, oh my God, I'm dying to try this. <laughs> we all see what's going on here. It was more that I review everything Natasha Denona and I know her formula very well. And you seem to appreciate that I do know her formulas pretty well. So I wanted to try this one and show you how does this look on my skin tone. I have a little bit more of a golden undertone. So are these going to be too cool tone on me? How am I going to be able to use these? It also looks like it is five shimmer shadows, but from what I can see here, it is, I don't think it is five shimmer shadows. I think that it is a cream, um, a cream matte, like a gel to powder. I'm not 100%, listen, I'm excited. This is supposed to be delivered this weekend. And if this is indeed delivered this weekend, I will put my video up as soon as I have it, or I will put my video up on Monday. So this will probably be the next video that you see from me. I just wanna try it out. Am I gonna love this one? Probably not. But I know a bunch of you love her like I am face palettes. And I just want to let you know if this is, if this could be something for you, if this could be like good quality, how I feel about it. Taking one for the team, you know, for science, I'll try it out and I will let you know. Can I say though, Natasha Denona, not everybody wants a pink blush. I feel like we need something else for the next blush release. Hmm? right? I bought one more thing. This is the most random thing I have bought in a really long time. And when I show you what I bought, you're going to be like, <laughs> it's so random. I bought the new product from the bomb. I know. I know. If you are not watching the screen, I swear you went like this now. <laughs> Who's shopping from the bomb? I have not tried or bought anything from the bomb in a really long time, but they released a cheek blush cream and it's six different shades. And one of them is supposed to have shimmer in them. So clearly I bought the shimmery one. It is almost like, you know, a peach with a golden. It's a little bit of a NARS orgasm thing imaging. And you know what? I'm excited. 
I am ready to try something new from the Balm. They released an eyeshadow palette. I don't even remember that. I want to say recently, but it could have been six months ago. Do you remember when the Balm was like popping? It was like an it brand. Everybody wanted the bronzer. Everybody wanted their highlighter. The Luminizer, the Mary Luminizer, was literally the only highlighter people were talking about for a bit until Champagne Pop came. It was like... I don't know. I don't even remember like how it came to be because they only had one shade and then eventually they came up with like a shimmery pink and then they had a darker one eventually but like they had one shade the beauty community was wild back then 2015 2016 2017 the beauty community was like out of control and we were hyping up the most random things and highlighter in one shade yeah that's going to be the it shade for apparently everyone but i am excited to try this one because i have not tried anything from the bomb in a really long time and I'm just hoping that they can have a win. Have you tried anything from the bomb lately? I'm excited. Okay, so this is only a sneak peek, but I think this will be my first, my first Danessa Myricks palette. I really, really like makeup from Danessa Myricks. Most of the things that I've tried from the brand, I've really, really enjoyed, and she's releasing a new palette. And this seems to be a more pinky, reddish, mauve-y uh, kind of a Groundworks palette. And you know how, if you watch all my videos, you know how close I was to buying the Groundworks palette. And it was an all brown palette. Where am I going? Like, you can see, I I'm a rainbow sprite. Where am I going? <laughs> Where am I going with a palette that's inspired by coffee beans? Where am I going? Nowhere. And I just saw so many good looks and I saw people raving about the formula and I was like... And it's the same with her Lightworks palette. Like, they are so pretty. The only palette that I haven't been tempted by is the one that had the water-activated colors because I'm not necessarily the person that, like, would go through the hassle of doing that. But the reason why I didn't get those is because I have so many multi-chromes from indie brands that are equally or sometimes even better quality so there's no point for me to get like duplicates it doesn't make sense for me but this one you know what i could be about this because i feel like i would be able to use this like a blush a lip color because they're like a cream gel formula and there is a powder formula because i think the big one is the big one a cream and the small one a cr like each one is a cream <laughs> one is a cream and one is a powder and i felt the consistency in store and it's just that it's just that it was all brown that was the only thing that was holding me back because i was like where am i going with this i love the idea of something like this i love doing monochromatic looks just not monochromatic like brown and if this were to come out in like a more warmer like orange coral like yellow red oh my god i would love that i don't think they're ever coming out with something like that because I've been told by so many people, like, orange is the color that sells the least on Sephora, which is crazy to me because I am not the only person that looks good in orange. But I think a lot of people just think that, like, a neutral pink is the only thing that's going to look good on you. Orange is beautiful. Orange is so beautiful. And a lot of people would look really good in a more peachy, warm-leaning or something that has a little bit more of a yellow undertone. And, oh my god, I Okay, this was a tangent. This is a tangent, if there's ever been a tangent, but yeah, this is all we have for the palette right now. There is no, no other information other than that it clearly exists, and that I'm guessing it's coming soon, but I think this will be for me. And I know a bunch of you were interested in me doing some stuff with the brown palette, and I'm hoping you're also interested in me doing with this palette, because I feel like this is more up my alley. And I'm excited. I love the Nessa Myricks products. And I still want to get that like water serum. Did I buy that? No, I made an order from Ulta. <laughs> I made an order from Ulta, but I did not buy the serum yet, but it's in my basket. It's, it's happening. Maybe I can buy that in store. Do you think it's in store? Hmm. This one had a sneak peek off last week, but they showed the products before I was like done uploading the video. But like, I have to film the video a little bit in advance, but we now see the new products from Patrick Ta, and it is a blush, no, it is three blushes and five lip glosses. I think that these look nice, but it's not something that I'm super excited about, and the main reason is I hear so many people saying that this is their favorite blush formula. Me, personally, I didn't feel like that, so I actually decluttered um, my Patrick Ta blush. Uh, I don't even know what shade I had, but I just... 
I wasn't super impressed if I'm gonna be honest. I thought it was okay, but nothing else. It didn't make me excited. So that's the reason why I'm not picking up any of these. I also saw some like comparisons of like the different pinks and let me see if I can just quickly pop that one up here as well. It's like a comparison of his existing pinks and existing nudes with these. And I'm like, there is not a lot of difference between these. My dude, that, like, that, that's, it's a minimal difference. And I know, like, oh, not all pinks are created equal. I totally get it. But, like, maybe explore some other colors instead of nudes and pinks. If you already have two nudes and you already have two pinks, do you need another bright pink and another nude? That's, like, the same, almost the same. But maybe they're not. Let me know what you think. Either way, I think they look pretty, but... <laughs> there are so many things I'm interested in. I just can't buy everything. But I do think that a bunch of you that are watching this are probably like, what are you talking about? This is my favorite. And I totally respect that. And I hope you were able to pick some of this up. This is also not, not random, but like, I don't really talk about this brand a lot because I don't feel like a lot of people are like asking about this brand. But I thought that this was interesting in several different ways. And this is from Dolce & Gabbana. And it is an Italian brand and it is a luxury house. And usually luxury house don't do colorful things like this and I think this is like felt tip liners and this eyeshadow palette looks like the whole setup the whole way it looks in the pan all of it just looks very Kiko Milano like this could have been a collection by Kiko Milano this could have been a collection I just I don't know this honestly this could have been like a summer collection from Tarte I'm trying to be a little hip and colorful there's something about this that just I don't know what it is it just feels so not a luxury brand I don't know if it's the packaging I don't know if it's the layout I don't know if it's felt tip I'm pretty sure these are felt tip liners I might be wrong maybe it's not felt tip liners but when I look at the close-up I'm like these sure do look like felt tip liners yeah they're that, that's a felt tip liner or really bad photography <laughs> one of the two and I'm just like I'm just really surprised about this and I'm fairly sure that Dolce & Gabbana is sold at Ulta not in store but online if you are interested I just I, I saw this and I thought it was like a drugstore brand it couldn't even have been like wet and wild and then I saw Dolce & Gabbana I'm like what are they charging for this $89 for that palette That's wild. Ooh, we even know more about the Beyonce hair care line. And I was trying to pronounce it last uh, time, but a bunch of you were saying that you had seen a promotional video of it and it's supposed to be pronounced sacred, which makes so much more sense than, sense than whatever I was trying to achieve. So it's sacred. I honestly, I don't hate that name at all. I think it's really cool. And I was saying I could be intrigued by this if it wasn't like, if it was hair products for all kinds of different uh, hair textures, because clearly I have like the typical Scandinavian hair. We call it cat fur, like my family calls it cat fur. Like just flat, silky, can't really do anything with it. That's, that's the kind of hair that I have. But this has a hair oil. It has a clarifying shampoo and scalp, 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 scalp scalp scrub that sounds great hydrating shampoo there is a moisture sealing lotion there's stuff that sounds like it could be for me it's a fermented rice and rose protein ritual when is this being launched it's already launched you can buy the whole bundle for 265 that better give me great hair but honestly i do think that there's a couple of things here that actually sound pretty delightful pretty delightful so i actually i did not know that it already launched i will link it down below in case you want to check it out as well i think i'm gonna go to the website and look because i'm trying to take better care of my hair uh which i I am not the kind of person that does like self-care, like pampering routines. I'm not. When it comes to like hair care, even skincare, like I'm lazy. <laughs> my skincare routine is three steps. That's all I can muster. My hair care routine is even less. And I'm just, I want to be that person. I'm not though. But one of my things that I want to be better at for this year is getting into some kind of a hair care routine. I'm working on it. <laughs> 
oh, the things from Juvia's place that I talked about is also uh, available. And these are the new uh, Complexion Eye and Magic Glow Radiance Boosters. And it is also a setting spray. I did buy one of these boosters. I want to try it out. I want to see if I like it. It's one of those like Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Finish dupes. And I will say of all of the different products that I've tried, I did not like the one from e.l.f. I know a lot of people love it. I actually think it's very tacky and sticky and I decluttered mine. And I'm hoping that this one will be a better uh, affordable dupe because I know a lot of people swear by the one from e.l.f. but it's sticky. It's sticky and tacky and it doesn't work on my oily combo skin at all. So I'm thinking that hopefully this one will be a better alternative. So far, according to me, the best one that I've tried have been the one from Auric. I think the one from Auric is even better than the one from Charlotte Tilbury, if I'm going to be honest with you. But I'm going to try this one out and I will let you know how I feel about it. Oh, I had a bonus video last weekend as well. We got to talk about it. It's the new Groovy Garden by Ensley Rain. And I don't know where I put this palette. I think I put it in the pile of stuff to have a, a <laughs> to have something with but I did do a video on this so if you want to see my thoughts on it if you want to see my swatches of it if you want to see the full collection single shadows loose shadows lip collection all of it that video was up Saturday it was up Saturday last week, right? And I will link that down below so you can check it out in case you're interested. They did give us a release date now, right? I think I have to update the video because for the longest time they didn't give us a release date. February 27th. So February 27th, which is on Tuesday, it's being released. And you can use my code. All my codes will be down below in the description box if you want to save some money off. And I thought it was a really good palette. I still think I like the one that's the blue like purple pastel pink palette that's so gorgeous but out of the ones in the square like rectangle packaging i think this one is my favorite so far because i really like the the amount of mattes and shimmers the ratio the ratio between the lights and the darks i think that was really good and i cannot wait to use it again so yeah i will leave that video down below in case you were interested in seeing the full collection and knowing all the deets before it launches i saw this one and i was like i forgot this brand existed this is violet Voss. Who for did you did you remember Violet Voss? Because I had totally forgot they existed. I feel a little bad, but this is pretty in paradise. It is a um, face and shadow palette. It is available at Violet Voss Cosmetics. I'm wondering if they're no longer available at Sephora because I have not seen them at Sephora any of the times that I've been there. But I also think the brand was a little stale. They were not really bringing to the market what people were interested in. They kept just bringing out these eyeshadow palettes with color stories that weren't really in with the time. And I'm not saying that you should do what other brands are doing, but either you have to do what other brands are doing or you have to do like break your own path, like create your own narrative. And I don't feel like they were doing either of that. I still have not tried their formula and I don't think that this palette will be the one. It's just not for me, but I'm excited to see that they're still around, I guess, but I forgot they existed. Have you been wondering about my lip gloss? I'd love to hear about it. This one I am intrigued by, and this is from Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow Hue Drops in Sun Glow Serum. We talked about this before, but now we have a release date. This can be $35. Oh, it's available now even. And it is the Niacinamide Glow, Niacinamide Glow Drops, but with a bronzy hue. I've actually been using this as of late. This is the Pacifica Sunny Glow to give my face, because I usually have more tan on my face than I... That made no sense. I have more tan on my body than I do on my face because I do like exfoliators and stuff in my face. So I've been using this one to like get my face to be a little bronzy and match my skin when I'm like not wearing a lot of makeup. But this one dries down extremely fast. So I have to mix this with someone for it to not look super blotchy on my skin. And this one is already mixed with skincare. So I think that this one will be a really good alternative for me. This one just dries down a little bit too fast. I've been mixing it with foundations, mixing it with skincare, and then it works. But like this is already mixed and finished from a brand that I really, really love. Of course, the one from Pacifica is way more affordable if you wanted to try out something like that for yourself. I don't hate it. I just, it's not in the kind of a format that I prefer. But this one, I am excited. I do usually get PR from Glow Recipe. So I think I'm going to keep my cool and see if this one shows up. But if it doesn't, I'm definitely buying it because I think that this will be something. This is one of those TikTok trends that actually I'm like, hey, this actually could be for me. 
I see a value in this trend. And this is the Morphe Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. It's a weightless second skin foundation that's clinically proven to improve skin. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh, it's supposed in one week. It's supposed to do all these things for your skin. That's that's pretty impressive though, I will say, if it actually does that. It's only $20 each, it's 36 shades, and I will say, I saw someone, I don't, I think it was Steph's Beauty Stash that had tried this one and in her thumbnail, she put up this one and said it was a dupe. The Makeup Forever HD Skin, or maybe she was like eluding that it could be a dupe. I'm not 100% sure. And this foundation is way too glowy for me. It's way too dewy and glowy for my oily combo skin so when i saw that i knew that this foundation probably would not be for me so i'm opting out <laughs> but if you were wanting to try something like this at a more affordable maybe that could be the one i also know my friend heather austin bought this foundation and she was going to try it out and she has oily skin so i'm just waiting to see if she likes it because i'm not buying any more dewy foundation <laughs> I need to be stopped. I recently did a video on Prada Beauty and I tried their lipsticks and I really, really like them. And now they are releasing three more shades in their Hyper Matte Nudes, which is their matte formula, which is a beautiful formula. And I think it's really smart to come up with more nudes. A lot of people just love nude lip colors. It's just the way it is. And it seems to be a, a rosy nude and a peachy nude and something that's a little bit more, maybe a slightly darker peachy terracotta nude. I'm sure these are really beautiful. I don't need to buy another lip color from them. The one that I have, I actually really like, but I always think it's really smart, especially from luxury brands, because they always come out with so many pinks and reds. It's nice to see a luxury brand that's like, hey, we know that people love some beiges. One of my favorite perfume houses that I have not bought anything from in a hot second is Jo Malone. Jo Malone usually does some really interesting scents, but the past like two years have been very florally with Jo Malone, and it's not been exactly what I've been after. They did have that gingerbread cookie scent, but it, it, it actually smelled like a cookie, and I don't want to smell like a cookie. I want to look like a cookie, but I don't want to smell like a cookie. It was too gourmand for me. It was too on the nose gourmand for me. I just felt like it lacked a little bit of dimension, in my humble opinion. I know people loved it, but if you're not into gourmand scents, that, that wasn't for me at all. But now they're releasing some kind of a tropical beach inspired scents. And it is a yellow hibiscus, a sunlit cherry moya, and then it is a yuzu cyst. And... I will say, Jo Malone does Yusu scents really good. I do have one from before. I don't think it's Yusu Cest, but I am intrigued to be smelling this one. I love how the bottles look. They look absolutely stunning. And one is supposed to be flower soaked in sunshine. One is supposed to be green cherry moya fruit basque. And one is supposed to be tropical beach fragrant trail of yuzu and i love yuzu so we do have a really good joe malone counter here at neiman marcus in austin and i will definitely be going to that counter and i will be sniffing these and if i like any of them i'll pick them up because i do really really enjoy joe malone but i feel like they've been very florally <laughs> these past couple of years and i miss the days when they did remember they did that collection based on like weeds around a river Love that. They made a collection based on like barleys and wheat. Also delightful. This like floral thing that they've had going on. I'm sure it sells. It's just not the kind of experimentation I'm looking for. Another scent that's being released, and this sounds like absolutely not for me, but it is from Pacifica. So if you are wanting to have a more affordable like fragrance option and Pacifica fragrances, like I can find them in my grocery store. You can find them at Target. This one is called Dream Moon and it is pink rose, sandalwood and patchouli. There's one that's called Bliss, which is sandalwood, orange flower and smoke. And there's one that's called Inspire. That one is cardamom, clove, vanilla, almond. That could be for me. Oh, and they have grounding, elderflower, cedarwood, sage, coconut, vanilla. Oh my God, I have to do... Oh, there's so many. I did not realize that it was this many. I had no idea there was this many. They have one passion fruit, pineapple, pity grain. Oh my God. Okay, I thought there were just going to be like a couple, but all of them are new. I do get some PR from Pacifica. And if I don't get these, I will definitely go hunting these down, maybe in Target and sniff them. Because a couple of these sound delicious. $27 each. If I can find them online, I will link them down below. Maybe they'll sell out. <gasps> Some of these sound delicious. 
this is this is me plotting to take over the world <laughs> buy all the pacifica perfumes now that you can find half magic beauty at ulta it's really interesting to see the new things that they are releasing because it's coming to ulta as well and they are releasing some more sparkle things so they are releasing the magic drip uh, glitter lip gloss which is a glitter lip gloss in three new shades it is a brownie one a black one looks beautiful and then it's a baby pink and then the glitter paint is coming out in two new shades it is like a pewter silver and then a pink the glitter pills was one of the things from half magic beauty that i did not like from before but i have heard from the owner herself that they have reformulated them so that they are more glitter and less liquid which it's definitely what that formula needed so if you were interested in this i would check this out uh, on the Ulta website. I will link it down below. I will say the lip gloss formula from Half Magic Beauty is beautiful. If you love a sparkly gloss, don't sleep on this formula. It is absolutely stunning. I just, and I think I said that before, I just don't prefer a glitter formula on me. I prefer a gloss or a color that doesn't have any shimmer or glitter to it. It's just my personal preference. Hayali is releasing a fragrance as well. This is something that I really want to smell. I don't know if this one is coming to Sephora. I also don't know if I'm still on the Kayali PR list. I just very luckily find myself on that PR list. I love Kayali fragrances. I'm wearing a Kayali fragrance today. I'm wearing the Eden Apple one. Still love that one. And this is the new scent that's called the... It's another part of the Oud Gassim collection. And this is the Oud Gassim Smoky Oud number no. 7. And this is supposed to have rum and saffron in the top notes. And if you have heard about my fragrance, what I love, I love a boozy note in fragrances. But then they have a lot of flowers, geranium, jasmine, and patchouli. And they also have cedar wood and guaiac wood and oud in the bottom. And also usually things, especially mixed together in the fragrance like this, that could go in a direction that I don't want my fragrances to smell. So this is definitely a scent that I have to smell. I could not blind buy something like this because there is a very big chance that I just won't like it. But smoky fragrances is something that I do like. It's just that cedarwood, patchouli, guaiac wood, oud, all of those plus the flowers are things that can go very overboard for me and my personal preference. But I also know that Kayali is very good at giving that well-balanced mix. So I'm intrigued to see what this is going to be. It's coming March 5th. I don't know if it's coming to Sephora or if it's only coming to their website. Milk Makeup is coming out with some like lip oils i kind of thought they had lip oils but maybe they didn't but these are the it's an addition to the kush family and this is the kush hydrating sheer tinted lip oil it comes in six different sheer shades it's 26 dollars. it has a salt juicy flavor which is something i don't like when a lip product at least when a lip product doesn't taste bad because that can totally turn me off a lip product there's a couple of lip products that i know that like some of my friends really love and it turned like i can't do them because i have that slight lipsticky taste and I, if there's something that's off with the taste i just can't do it i think that this looks really nice it's just not something that i will be running out to buy I like milk makeup, but not enough to be like excited about another, another lip oil. I didn't think that this was going to be a new formula, but this is from Merit and they're coming up with their signature lip in the lightweight matte lipstick. And I used one of these because they sent me one of these shades. They sent me the vermilion, which is the orangey red that you see here. And I wasn't realizing that this was a different formula than the other, like the one they had. But this one is definitely a comfort matte. In some formulas, this would be described almost as satin because it's not a full matte. It definitely has a little bit of a give to it. So if you like a matte lip, but you are okay with it not being a flat matte, you're okay with it having a little bit of life just to make it a little bit more comfortable, you might like this because this is definitely not one of those tuggy, drier matte formulas. And it's also not appearing totally matte on the lips. So it's like a give and take with those kind of formulas. I The vermilion is very pretty. I've worn it. I've worn it once in a video and I've worn it once since as well. It's a really pretty shade. I like it. Is it enough for me to want to go and buy another of the shades? I don't really know. I do like how some of these shades look, but I think that this is one of those with lip colors, unless it's a formula where I'm like, oh, I know I'm going to like it, or it's something that I'm deeply interested in, I want to see the shades in real life. But I will say the Equestrian and Antibas could be shades that I'm interested in, but I kind of need to see them in real life. Another matte formula that is coming, and this is the Unlocked Soft Matte Formula from Hourglass. And again, I thought that the formula that they released maybe was a satin, because I had a terracotta of that. And I'm guessing they're releasing 
a matte formula of that. And when I look at the swatch pictures of this, I'm showing you like here, they look very matte on the lips. So this one, I am intrigued because it says soft matte. And I'm wondering if it's going to be one of those like a little bit more blurring, maybe silicone based matte lips. I'm just speculating here. I don't know if this is true or not. But again, I'm not running to buy this one. If I see it in store and they have a shade where I'm like, oh, I think I like it, I might try it. But again, Hourglass is not, again, not one of those brands where I'm like dying, breathing, sneezing to try everything from the brand. They have some stuff I love. If they release something that's super exciting, I might. But this is like, it's, it's okay. I'm sure some people are super excited about this. Lisa Eldridge is coming out with some new products. I'm not seeing exactly here what it is, but I feel like I've heard that it's going to be a mascara and an eyeliner, part of her like kitten flick um, series. Someone tagged me in a comment somewhere on Instagram and now I have to go look for it and find like the proper picture to put here. This one is releasing on the 24th, which is on Saturday then, I guess. So if you're interested in this, I would go and check out her website. Some of these like indie brands, I think she is an indie brand, some of these like brands are only sold on their website, maybe I should say. I definitely recommend you to sign up for the newsletter so that you will be the first one to know when things are being released. But I am not interested in buying a new eyeliner and a mascara, but if you are a diehard Lisa Eldridge fan, I'm sure that this is super exciting for you. I still love that sheer lipstick that she released. <sighs> That was so beautiful. That was so beautiful. The one thing that keeps me from buying another one on her website is that I feel like a lot of the time her swatches on the website tend to be lighter than they actually seem in real life when you get the product. Last thing we're gonna talk about, and we have to mention this, do we, maybe we do, but this is the collaboration between Nails Inc. and McDonald's. Nothing surprises me anymore. Are you surprised about this? I'm not surprised about this. I feel like Nails Inc., is that the brand that did the, the Velveeta, I feel like a lot of nail brands have just gone bonkers with their, if you think that makeup brands are going bonkers with their collabs, like, listen, the nail brands would just hold my drink and they're just collaborating with everything from like dressing to hamburger chains to like Velveeta cheese. Who wanted your fingers to smell like cheese? Who? thought that that would be a selling point. I mean, they sold out. So what do I know? But maybe they bought 50 of them. Like, I have no idea. But this is a McDonald's thing. I see no appeal in this. Like, no appeal in this whatsoever. So it is a red polish, a brown polish, some nail stickers, and I think there's a topper polish that has, like, gold hearts. And it's like, it's not even the arches. If, at least if it was like a topper coat that had the arches, it would make sense. Or little burgers, but like it's hearts. Okay, it's just, I don't know, I just, these collections are getting weirder and weirder and I don't even know where we're at right now. We're just selling stuff as like merch or like as novelty things or collector's items. I don't even know if it's like actually like makeup. I feel like... The priority is like with an actual good workable makeup item that people need and want that's so low on the priority list that I'm like, what are we doing here? What's what's going on? Anyways, I am going to end it here because I actually have a contractor coming here in a couple of minutes. He is going to look at our AC because it is making all kinds of strange noises and I don't want something blowing. I don't need something blowing up, okay? But thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're interested in seeing some more info about any of the products that I mentioned, or if you're like, what was that brand? Everything is down in the description box. I will have this look up as soon as I can, as soon as the brand has like announced what they're doing with what's going on here. But yeah, I hope you have a great weekend. I will try and have a great weekend. And I will see you in my next video, which will probably, fingers crossed, be the Natasha Denona new face eye palette. Let's hope for that. Bye.